The horse is inside recuperating. You'll see him in just a moment. We talked to the operators here, the carriage operators. They said they answer to five city agencies as they go about their operations and services, services that some say it's time to end. Ryder appears to be in good spirits Thursday, a far cry from the day before. Wednesday evening around 5, the 14-year-old carriage horse collapsed near the intersection of West 45th and 9th Avenue. NYPD mounted patrol officers helped treat the animal by putting a pillow under his head and spraying him with water until he recovered. Christina Hansen, spokesperson for the Transportation Workers Local 100 that represents horse carriage drivers, says the horse has a neurological disease called equine protozoal myeloencephalitis. In this case, it appears to be affecting his Hind legs, uh, uncoordination, lack of strength, and cause muscle uh, mass loss and stuff like that. Stop carriage However, animal rights activists are furious, arguing that Ryder collapsed from heat exhaustion while working in an industry that they say needs to end. Outside City Hall Thursday, they called on the City Council to act on proposed legislation that will replace horse-drawn carriages with electric ones. Councilman Eric Botcher is co-sponsor of that proposal. The time has long since passed for us to transition away from this industry. The union says Ryder and all their horses are cared for and managed under strict animal health regulations that include heat restrictions. But advocates cite Wednesday's incident as just the latest case of what they say is abuse. New Yorkers are so tired of seeing horses collapsing, dying, being worked while they're sick, being dragged through the streets, emaciated. The city council looked at the same kind of proposal in 2010 and they rejected it. They've looked at similar proposals in 2014 with de Blasio and rejected it. They're exploiting people's understandable emotions because this was, you know, an emergency yesterday. This was a disturbing video. So the bill right now is with the City Council Health Committee. It would have to go through a public hearing and several other steps before even reaching the council for consideration.